Kara and Dick were default parents who were seriously neglecting their five children. Mom had involved the family in a local fundamentalist church, and she tunneled all of her energies into supporting the church to the cost of, while she was feeding her children and making sure they had warm clothes and she had enrolled them in the fundamentalist church school. Besides that, her children, she was leaving pretty much on their own. Dad found the children loud, annoying, and eating up all of the money he made driving a truck. He was an angry man, but he was tunneling all of his energy into a sexual addiction. He loved and felt powerful while watching violent pornography. And when he was on long hauls, he could always find some woman in a bar to take back to the hotel room and engage in the type of sexual practices he had come to love. While all the children were really suffering, their son, Brad, 14 years old, was about to get into really big trouble. Brad was extremely angry. He was angry because he'd been bullied throughout his years at this fundamentalist school. He had an undiagnosed case of dyslexia and he had a really hard time learning to read and then reading his textbooks. And he'd been the victim of bullying. And the school had no way of assessing why any child was having trouble learning so the teachers just yelled at him not to be lazy, and the kids just made fun of him. So he hated the kids, and he hated the school. And he'd come to hate his dad, because why wasn't his dad helping him? He saw other dads taking their sons out and playing with them in the park, not his dad. He'd gone to the movies and seen other dads sitting with their sons, but not his dad. And he was just so angry, but he was also really getting interested in sex. Whenever he could, he was watching his dad's channel on the TV and watching some violent porn. While he wasn't allowed to, nobody was ever paying attention to what he was doing. So he did what he wanted. And when he wanted out, even though they were supposed to be in bed at 9 p.m., he'd just climb out his bedroom window and prowl. And what he was prowling about now was he needed to find a girl. He needed a girlfriend. He wanted to have sex. But whenever he approached a girl who looked about his age, while she looked really attractive to him, he was intimidated. He didn't know what to say. He didn't know how to begin the approach. But that night, he saw the perfect target. She was small. She looked about the age of his nine-year-old sister. And he'd come to hate his nine-year-old sister. Why? Because she was the only kid in the family that dad ever paid attention to. He would let her sit on his lap while he watched the news. He would, every once in a while, tuck her into bed. Why her? Why did she get his attention? So this made this girl perfect. In some ways, he'd be getting some revenge on his stupid little sister. He followed her around for about 15 minutes and smirked. What an idiot. She couldn't even sell candy. Anybody could sell candy. She kind of deserved what she was going to get. And then the perfect moment came. He saw her walking down an alley. He knew that alley well. There weren't any houses off of it. It was really dark. He began to walk down the alley. When she noticed it and began to walk faster, he ran. She ran, but his legs were much longer. He caught her easily. And as she was screaming and he was holding her down and ripping her tights off, he felt fabulous. This was the first time in his life he felt a surge of power and control. He got to be in charge. He knew what he wanted and he was going to get it. But unfortunately, her screams had drawn the attention of a man walking down the street with his dog. He came running up and screamed, what are you doing? Brad let go of the girl and ran off. The man made the choice. 
he went to help the little girl. Brad got home. He was so high on adrenaline that he went in the front door instead of through his bedroom window. There was blood on his coat, but his dad was completely focused on the TV and his mother was talking to the minister as usual. Brad rushed into the bathroom, got into the shower and jerked off, remembering the screams of that little girl and how he had been in control. Do you hear stories like this and get mad at the default parent? Do you hear stories about violence and you want to do something to stop it, but you do not know what to do? Join the experts in the National Partnership to End Interpersonal Violence Across the Lifespan. You don't have to have any prior background knowledge. Just go to www.npeiv period O-R-G. Look to the top of the screen and click on the membership tab. You will learn about the different projects the experts are working on and you can join with any expert that you want and help them to help end interpersonal violence and help make safety a basic human right.